Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, we're up in Cache Creek, uh, British Columbia, and we're heading for um, a Soyuz BC down right on the U.S. border with Washington. So uh, you've got 92,000 pounds of logs on here. It's a big load. And uh, it's the uh, Pister logging trailer. And uh, this is part of the pack that's up for grabs with the photo contest this month. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see how we get on with it. It's a it's a nice logging trailer. Like I like the way it's set up. Oh, we got uh, this superliner here from uh, dealing, and I've just updated this paint job for it. I'll have to publish it. Uh, maybe get around to it uh, tomorrow. And um, it also works with the sleeper and has uh, you know all the appropriate stuff on a couple different sun visors if you want this one and the traditional one with the paint strip around it and looking pretty good in my opinion <laughs> anyway yeah it's a fictitious company here Tumbler Ridge Logging Lillowit Kamloops and Tumbler Ridge BC logging lumber machinery and service so let's do it of course it's uh, just all made up but uh, It's uh, uh, EDN, ENDT. That's funny. Oh, we're not steering too good with that weight on that. Uh, I wonder if I can lift that axle. I know you shouldn't with this much weight on it, but let's just find out if we can get a lift. Yeah, it'll go up. So... Uh, it's not a great idea, but while we're turning corners, we'll leave it up. Now, I was going to say, one thing I noticed is funny with this uh, paint job, is when we're sitting in here looking out over the hood, have a look at uh, how much black we're seeing between the, uh, the orange stripes and the uh, chrome. So there's quite a bit of black there we hop hop out but not so much that's weird eh first time I hopped in it I went oh dang what did I do with the paint job steering axle on the trailer tracks really nicely. It's really accurate. We'll see when we, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get out and look as we turn that corner up here in Cache Creek at the traffic lights. Watch how it tracks. very well with that middle axle down. It's too bad it's uh, not a steering axle. Do with the uh, pusher uh, axle on the truck. Somebody's got to explain to me where that pusher thing came from because 
I've always called it whether it's in front of the drivers or behind a tag axle. And uh, I don't quite get the pusher idea. I'll jump out at this light up here and see how the uh, that uh, trailer uh, liftable axle on the trailer works. So now, oh boy, this light. There's cargo we had yesterday. So I don't know if we get a, uh, a ticket for if I had a turn there. Oh boy, I'm over the line. There's nobody behind me. But yeah, this is a nice tight corner. Let's see. Uh, we'll get on the inside of it. We'll watch this uh, trailer axle to see how it tracks around there. Right about here, we should be able to see it good. Yeah, it follows pretty well. Eh? It doesn't scrub or anything. That was a pretty, sh pretty sharp corner. Guess we can see in this right lane for a bit. trailer. Uh, I think this is only the second time I've taken it out in a video, I think. It's been quite a while. Last time we had it out, probably did it with the uh, Freightliner FLC. I gotta do a new skin for that truck one of these days.
pretty air and dry place up here. I think I've mentioned before in videos. Pretty much a desert up here. In terms of rainfall and whatever happens. had just slightly higher exhaust pipes like the short one is really short the nice and a little taller yeah you're ready to barge our way into that left lane I think oh man look at all the traffic too That uh, semi back there was having trouble making ground up that hill too. Now how far to the first brake check? That's a big question. so I ain't going to be green when we get there, so... With that hill right there, it'd be real good to get a running start at it. Got a factor in the extended greens here, too. Behind him is quicker than he is. Oh boy. Another slow motion drag race. Now we're leaving him. And probably going to be 
a brake check as soon as we get going here. Check yet. I was worried there's going to be one. We've got to slam on our brakes and use them all up, slowing down for it. I guess it's uh, we're already well on the downhill, so maybe not to worry. Oh, speeding violation. I'm going. 40 miles an hour in a 68 kilometer, let me think. Maybe I'm not doing the math very well. Now we're at 110, which is, well, they have it at 68 miles an hour. Huh, well, that's surprising. He'll write me up for that too. <laughs> Jumping out to take a photo at 60 miles an hour. Write you up, boy. Turn your volume down. That runaway A straight ahead. That'd be a wild thing to have to take that. Not too scary yet, but we don't want to get too fast. See how fast the brake temp goes up when we have to touch the brakes. I got it in big numbers in the top left of my. Uh, little tablet here. Maybe just touch it like yeah, it jumps up like 100 degrees in no time. It's interesting too about a Soyuz is uh, my oldest brother is staying there for uh, a little bit right now just to get away from Manitoba winter for a stretch. <laughs> kind of cool. Being in a Soyuz, it's still fairly far from where I am up in Calgary, but it's uh, definitely not as far as his home in Manitoba, so 
Might have to go down there and see him. Fun little load, uh, oops, little double trailer. I think the only time I ever took a double anywhere was with the um, B61 Mac. Did it in a video early on in the series. Darn, we gotta be in that right lane. get a little look at this trailer. So it's got uh, aluminum uh, bolsters which is kind of cool and they can be uh, painted if you want and I like to have the wire cable because I mean that's the way they hold logs down. That's kind of neat instead of having straps or something. Pretty much the way it comes out of the box I just changed the wheels we're using Smarties wheels on the uh, truck and trailer. That's a nasty corner coming up here. That guy's got the right trailer for it. Look how much extra room he had there. Wow, nice. I don't think we're going to have that much. Let's see. Oh, Street Sweeper. I think he's in the left turning lane. We're going for it. How do we do here? All right. I see as we're getting all the green lights up there. Oh, yeah. Not us. Let's use our zoom thing. What's it say on the... Oh, I didn't program it on this profile. Darn. I should. I want to read what it says on the dash. Low water level, low oil. I have 80 or temp. I guess it's just warning lights. That little plaque on the left uh, side above those three gauges. got a lift axle switch on the dash. Hey, we'll have to see if that actually works. Get going. 
going straight again, we will uh, drop the axle. Let's drop the axle, see what happens. Oh yeah, it works. It's animated, nice. down some chain link fence here. Oh, I came in there just a little too fast, I guess. down it's not steering we're gonna pull that up Be nice if it was a steering axle. Turn on left up here. We're going to that winery across the little bridge. Right over there in the hills. See over there out the window? That's where we're going. <laughs> if I don't run into a telephone pole first. Way. Let's see. No, we're good. Grapes would have been in bad shape if we had had winter on.
got a helicopter here. <laughs> That's just any helicopter. It's a twin rotor. Big guy. All right. Where are we going to put this? Or down there. they do you know really I don't know I say it all the time but it really bugs me these guys sitting around I think they show them doing something or I don't know doesn't seem right Uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, get this one up on Steam. kind of mess this one up. This must be the optical illusion of the fence going away from me there. Oh well. We'll figure it out someday. Fair enough. Right, there we are, 92,038 pounds of locks. Hmm, quite a deal. Let's see, brakes are on, lights off, engine. See how we did. Excellent. Oh, I still don't have the, I, <laughs> I can't keep track of which uh, profiles have the, I should just go into all of them at one time and make them all the same. I didn't have the realistic fuel turned on there. Oh well. well there we are. Dealings Max Superliner. So if you want to get this one, there'll be a link in the video. You can go to Gumroad, I believe it is, and get it. And payment is optional. Like there is a spot for payment and it's got like zero there. I can't remember if it's in euros or dollars. But um the point is uh you know, he does good work and puts them out there so it should maybe just toss him something. But it's entirely up to you. You can put a zero and have it for free and go get the skin off Steam. Those wheels are free. Off of uh, wheels and tires are on Steam. Smarties wheel pack. The trailer isn't and the engine isn't. Uh, sound mod. But other than that, pretty good. And Pro Mods Canada, of course. Which is, if you want the fast download, one euro. And if you can wait, it's free. So there you go. Not too expensive a trip. And uh, that's that. So if you enjoyed the video, give her a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.